Minikan e di ni usi bi bre mwa na efa Black Sheriff. Hunse Ghana Police ache Black Sheriff e wo kotoka International Airport. Ase mwne ba ye no nchile mwne ba ye ni se Black Sheriff e management e ne e kuo biya na se company biya o mudi e di Cruise People Limited e kwa agreement biya nke wo se Black Sheriff e be performe e wo mu event a se e di momo. Black Sheriff e ndi ni bo she su nchile ma company no e bu fuye o mwko chwene no kotoka International Airport a mwa police fwo e kwa fa Black Sheriff e di no mwko police station a e nse mwne ba internet ni su no u biya kanedye we kanedye na we ya kanedye na che sa adwen chene na kwa ye bibri me kwa na mi niw sa mi di kanedye ba ya nme hun se komen se shena mwko fwo bibri chwa ma adwen e wo ho se e nse mwne diye u biya kanedye mwko na diye abeni Joy Prime, ene Mr. Daniel Van Der Poel, onu neye CEO of Cruise People Limited, omu nene di mkomo, ati shen mkomo, amu ono so edi nchile mu biye wa se mu nimbi atu abonte, se diye ne si ya omu che Black Sheriff, e yeno kre, se ya che Black Sheriff, wakani yina, inti mi mpesa me kasa ebe e tinti, ye kwen koti yon kumu diye kwa so, e wo Joy Prime, ene Mr. Daniel Van Der Poel, en tim emra. Why? Because his parents live in, uh, in, in Athens, in Greece. Mm -hmm. And so this liaison of ours um, uh, considered them like family. Actually, he lived with the father for some time, you know. So it would just be nice and proper if we could, you know, give that opportunity. So we asked, and quickly the father placed a call to him. He, at the time, he was playing a show in Dubai. That was somewhere in March this year. And uh, he said, okay, we should reach out to a lady by name Mimi Edu. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Mimi happens to be the first point of contact in terms of management that we got in touch with. So it was first on a WhatsApp platform created, going back and forth, trying to establish first the availability of the RTs based on dates and schedules. And we finally chose August uh, 19th. And then they went back and came back and uh, the, the amount was dropped. A huge sum of money, $40,000. But uh, we said no, it was it was too good. We would put. We would oh, put it was higher than that. So no, it was. I mean, for us, it was. I mean, when they first started talking, it was higher. It was but how much? oh, <laughs> well, I don't want to go there. <laughs> but but we agreed on forty thousand, okay. and so forty thousand dollars is what we agreed upon. Then, on that note, um, we moved from WhatsApp. So who, who is this Mimi? I haven't about. seen her in person before, but we and do. Management. Yes, yeah, she's one? one of the managers for the RTC in Ghana. Okay. Um, so they, they are like the management company, okay? okay. So um, at this point, an email was created, uh, like a, 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 an email was uh, sort of put together. Mm -hmm. And then about four other individuals representing an organization called uh, United Talent Agency, Agency. UTA. In, in the UK, they are registered as uh, Echo Talent. And so she said, well, on the first email, I'll give you that. She said, oh, I'm now introducing Daniel to you. We've agreed on 40,000. Take it up from here. So it was now from management to booking agent. Okay. So the first po uh, port of contact yeah, was the management. Was the management. Yeah, exactly. And then from there to, to the, the booking, booking agent. agent. Exactly. Okay. So the booking agent said, well, we don't have to go back and forth again. Give us all these details. Where is the event happening? The name of the ship, blah, blah, blah. They, so we supplied, provided all that information to them. And then came a contract, you know, and then came a contract. And so the contract came. And we perused it, it was okay with us. And we were like, okay, ah, let's go ahead and do this. They demanded $20,000, which was 50% uh, upfront. Right. So we went to the bank and we, we did a wire transfer to, to them. You should see the contract. Uh, I mean, the contract actually, I, I, I'll show you, uh, uh, the contract here, and I say, is between Mohammed Ishmael Sharif, a.k.a. Black Sharif, mm -hmm. care of Echo Talent location in the UK. So the contract is between Mohammed Sharif and Daniel Van Der Poel of Cruise People Limited, Fifth Floor, Platinum Place, Accra. This is my address here. Okay. And so this is Black Sharif's address in, in the UK. In the UK. Do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. So this was given out, and then the payment schedule was sent out, and... That is the bank details, okay. right? So we went ahead and then we made the payment to them and based on that, we decided we needed to do a media bliss. Like we can't just go ahead and do this. And for that matter, um, they should fulfill their part of the obligation, which is for them to send us a five, 10 seconds, 20 seconds video of the artist confirming that he's gonna perform. 
bus. We waited, waited, waited. Several emails sent to them reminding them we needed this. So this deal signed, the contract? The, the, the contract was signed uh, on the 28th of uh, April. Okay. Yeah, it was signed on the 28th of April. And when, when did you expect him to do the video? We expected to have this video at least the, by the 10th, between the week of the 10th of May. Mm. Because as at the 19th of May, I'm getting there. Mm. So for the media bliss, we, we paid our media partners, uh, multimedia, okay. to actually have an out of station broadcast here in our office for us to outdoor the program. Mm. So we invited, you know, all dignitaries to, to be here. The event was right here on the, on the ground floor. And we were waiting for the video. The video wasn't coming. And I kept asking, what's, what's going on? What's happening? And it didn't happen. So I told the uh, organizers, if by 3 p.m., sorry, the, money, uh, the booking agents, if by 3 p.m. we don't receive the video, then there's no deal here. Okay, so again, who was your port of call at this point in time? Was it a talent agency? Was it somebody direct? Uh, directly connected to Black Sherry's core management team. Who are you communicating with at that point in okay, time? Okay, so this is what happened. Yeah. From my understanding, Black Sherry's performances outside Ghana, yeah. regardless of who you're dealing with, has to go through the booking agents. Agents? Yes. So, okay. so the booking agents have been contracted by the management to handle all his bookings okay. outside the shores of Ghana. D do you understand what I'm saying? So here, we are referring to the booking agents still acting in their capacity mm. as agents for Black Sheriff. Okay. So they were the people you were communicating with with, with regards to this exactly uh, video. Together with Mimi Edu, Mimi every Edu. email that was going on, she was, she was in copy. Okay. Every email that was going on between us, and we have about seventy or seventy-five uh, trails of like email back and forth because this thing spanned from like two months, if not more. Right, so okay. on that day, we were here waiting for the video. The video doesn't come. And when I told them that if it's three o'clock, at this time it was around one o'clock, uh, we had already set up here. They now forced Black Sheriff for the first time. I hadn't spoken to him before. They now forced him to make a video call to me in the company of his local, one of the local managers called Aubrey. So they now called me, and it was here, right here in this office. Everybody was here because we were preparing to go downstairs for the event. And they were like, oh, Bosu, uh, we're going to do some interviews because they have a show in America as well, New York. And so when we finished that show, we would come back and do the video for you. I said, are you serious? We, we were requesting for this video God knows when, even before he was uh, uh, crowned the uh, artist, artist of the, of the year. year. Two to three weeks span, and we still haven't received the video. Anyway, um, let me be honest here. Uh, I said, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Go to the program, and when you come back, let us have the video. When they came back, it wasn't possible to have the video. So I reached out to the multimedia team that was here, um, and then I asked them, the production team. I said, the guys have just called me now, and here we are. Mm -hmm. They don't have the video, but they are willing to make a telephone call onto the program. And multimedia said... Per our contract, it is a video that we're supposed to air. We have not come to your facilities with out of, bro out of station broadcast equipment to be able to do phone calls coming in. In any way, that phone call was going to come in. The police secured an arrest warrant from the court and then informed the immigration because where were we going to find him? So it was either when he's leaving or he's coming. And so immigration stopped him handed him over to the police. The police got him to the police station, gave him the opportunity uh, to, 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 to listen to the complaint. And then the caution statements were read out to him and he wrote his statement. Based on that, he was granted, okay. he was granted a bail. A bail. Yeah. So what's next from here? Wow. <laughs> next. <laughs> <laughs> what's next from here? For us or for him? For, for the case? Oh, well, for the case, it's simple. Mm -hmm. We have um, uh, a civil suit.
pending. Uh, we will submit the, the details of that uh, to, actually he'll, he'll be served, you know, and um, he will look through it and make a response. And if he wants to make ends meet by cutting a deal, we'll get there. If not, then we want to pursue this to this logical conclusion. Because you see, the way we were treated, mm -hmm. it's not fair, uh, uh, it's unthinkable. And we don't want um, the general public to conceive us as trying to, you know, uh, put a stop on his career or like impede his progress. And we waited two months trying to use all kind of means, especially human resources available to us, okay. to actually find a lasting solution to this. That didn't happen and we're here now. The police have invited us. Okay. We're both meeting at the police headquarters at 2 p.m. All right. And so when we get there, his legal team, my legal team will be there. We would go through the issues, and I'm sure they don't want this to continue. Neither do I want this to continue. So we should have a handshake. We get paid, okay. and that's it. So you want your money, just that? We want our money, and not only the money we paid, of course. I mean, I'm telling you that we paid multimedia to have an out-of-station broadcast here mm -hmm. to promote the event, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. We have released a press statement this afternoon. Okay. In there, we stated our losses. If you want to have an event in a hotel here in Ghana, you first go pay a deposit to secure the space. That deposit usually is non-refundable because you've blocked their rooms and the date. So if you come back and say, I can't do it again, you expect them to give you back your money? Mm -hmm. That's what happened to us. When we finally sent the money and need to do this, we went ahead and paid for the cabins, like the rooms on board the cruise ships. Not all, but we paid the deposit. So because of us, the cruise lines could not sell those cabins to the... Eh, the e si nina anu, de wati ni social media, so, e fa bila sherif, ni nchi eno huwa nse mu nina anu, we di e de mu pefe, wa son ati no kre biya e wum, e na papa no akasa no, e inti wusu betu miya ka chire wunu ya, se di e si ye, e wo bila sherif, e ne cruise people limited for nte mu nye, e ha, e e zanyo fele studio, misi rao se, obe subscribe to this channel, e di a mami se, wunye ya, na wa she video no, e sa anse, asa mune baye no, akwa ye ajun chire bebre, ne wabo nti, wubi e chire na ajun e, inti ino kre se, e tu miya piyo mude, wos no mu hude si ye e o blasheri fune nche no hon semono. Midi ene mame e kuye minta. Makrao.